Hey guys, welcome to this second tutorial of ProATC X. In this tutorial, I am going to walk you through loading the flight plan from ProATC into our simulator. As you can see, I already loaded the simulator. It's Lockheed Martin Prepare 3 V4. I'm seated in a Boeing 737-800 Jet Airways livery as we spoke yesterday now i'm not going to go into the details of uh, say loading the fuel loading the passengers flaps reserve fuels etc as i'm not going to fly this bird right now i'm going to do a separate tutorial on that this is all about pro adcx flight plan loading into our simulator that's it um so let's get started what you need to do is go into pro atc now as you remember yesterday we created the flight plan for jet airways from mumbai to delhi and we are going to load this flight plan into our aircraft what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on it click on fly now once you click on fly now you have this window where it shows you the simulator which is being loaded and it shows the aircraft which you have my aircraft it's pmdg 737 ngx these are the default options which are checked by default you don't need to change any of this or uncheck any of this just keep it as it is and click on ok once you click on ok you will find that this flight plan has now become active it's in green color which shows that this is an active flight plan now now we'll go back to the simulator once you go back to the simulator i'll unpause it and you'll see that there is this information from pro atcx that it's ha it has generated a flight plan for us and it wants us to switch to clearance delivery and there is a clearance delivery frequency which is there and we need to do that we need to do that before that before that we need to align ourselves to the airport and how we do that well uh, i go to the overhead panel first of it and these are the two irs switches we need to switch these two switches twice to nav click it once goes into align Click it twice goes into nav same way we have to do for the second switch align and nav as you see these two lights have come alive it shows that now our aircraft is aligned we go back to our display and here i'm going to load the flight plan but before that we are going to switch to the clearance delivery how we do that we'll go down here uh, i'll zoom it for you right here is the active frequency and the frequency uh, which has been loaded by pro atc what we need to do is we have to switch it by clicking on this button and now we have switched ourselves to the active frequency that is 120.35 right this is it once we have done that we we'll go back again i click on one that's numerical one on my keyboard and now we have this small menu i'll make it a little larger for you right these are the options that pro atc has given us what we want to do is we have to request clearance to the destination airport and we'll click on this and now it asks for the clearance here you go here you go here it shows that you have been cleared to the destination airport with uh, all the related information about 
how which app which runway you have to take what is the flight level you have to follow and then what is your what is the um, cruising flight level that uh, you need to go for and uh, once we get this clearance what we'll do is we'll go into our fmc once we go into the fmc click on fmc go into post in it and here you have it that we have ourselves parked at alpha one gate as we spoke yesterday and uh, we are going to take this um, initial position and we are going to put it here once we put it here you see this this has now come alive this has now turned into a dotted magenta line right now we are going to put in our root and our root is as simple we go into the root we have our departure airport already put up for us we are going to put up our destination airport that is VITP which is the ICO code for Indira Gandhi International Airport Delhi and we are going to put it here by clicking on this button once we click on this button observe there is another blue dotted line which comes alive which shows that we are loading a flight plan into our simulator now right so we have loaded our flight plan from pro atcx into our simulator successfully what I'm going to do is now I know that there is a runway assigned to me which is 09er and uh, I'm going to put it here 09 I'm going to put it into the runway again it shows which runway I'm taking off from it shows the runway here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up my flight number uh, you remember yesterday that um, our flight number was taken from Jade Airways website um if you do not remember it uh, no issues you can click on one in flight menu comes up you click on flight plan information and flight plan information you have this jai 9w301 i'm going to put up here j a i 9w three zero one i'm going to put up in here right so we have the flight number we have ourselves the company route or the route that we loaded from pro atcx once you have loaded this part till here what you have to do is you have to click on you have to click on activate and execute once you activate and execute it i'll just close this window for now there you have it there is a pink solid line now which shows that you are going to take off from a certain runway runway 09 which is stated here and you're going to take off from there once you take off you're going to follow a route now there as you know that there are stops or there are waypoints in between our departure airport and our destination airport well where do you find those stops where do you find those waypoints um, how to fix any issues related to the waypoints or is there any error in our um, flight plan what can we do about it all this stuff I'm going to cover into our next tutorial that's going to be tutorial number third where I'm going to take this flight plan ahead and show you guys how to fix any errors in the flight plan and getting our flight ready for departure till then this is Sam signing off thanks guys